Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna compare actual footage and audio of all of these smart Wi-Fi enabled security cameras that are in the Xiaomi store. Let's go. This video contains some of my test results on which I've based the overview video about all of these cameras. If you want to check that video out, you can find that uh, right here. So let's first compare some day footage of all of these cameras, starting with the Yi camera. They shoot 720p, so I've scaled it up to fit the frame. The footage is really quite grainy and colors are not really vibrant, but it does shoot at 20 frames per second. The Mijo 1080p looks a lot more detailed in comparison, but that footage got some trouble with its white balancing, so its colors are a bit off. But compared to the 720p footage of the Yi camera, it does look a lot better. The Amilab Shang Mi camera also shoots 720p and in some ways it's quite similar to the quality of the Yi camera. Its footage has a little bit more color but it's definitely comparable as you can see right here. It's a little bit better but definitely not the best. The Xiaofang camera on the other hand has much better colors and looks uh, quite sharp. When seen right after the Shuang Mi, it looks kind of red and orange, but definitely not as bad as the Mija camera. The Xiaofang really is not that bad, although it only shoots 10 frames per second. The Mija 360 degrees camera shoots 720p and does look a little bit grainy compared to the HD shots of the Xiaofang or the Mija, but its colors are really quite accurate with the actual real life colors. It surely is a little bit more contrast heavy than some of the other cameras, especially when you're looking here at the region of the Me Too doll next to the plant. But it can get a lot worse with the Mija 360 AI camera, for example. It shoots full HD footage, but it really doesn't look like that, especially considering this is the most expensive camera. In that sense, the cheaper Mija 360 camera that we just saw looks a lot better. Look at the difference in the colors and contrast here. The footage of the Dafang camera on the other hand is really really good. It seems to have excellent noise reduction and even though its colors seem to be a little bit flat, it's got a lot of detail and really nice level balance. When I compare that with the 360 camera we just seen, it's really a day and night difference. Lastly, I've got the Akara Gateway camera and although it's got a really large vignette, its 180 degrees field of view is really nice. It's not the best in terms of the image quality, but its colors are not that bad. The green on the leaves are still quite green and especially if I compare that with the Mija 360 and the Mija 1080p, you'll see it's not that bad. So here you can see how large that 180 degrees field of view is in my living room. This means the camera has a much larger field of view to get its motion detection triggered which I think is a really great benefit. If I compare the Akara with the 1080p AI camera, you can see really well what I mean. The 100 degrees wide angle lens just captures from the computer monitor to the edge of the table and if you look at the Akara, that really captures the whole living room. The Dafang has a 120 degrees wide angle lens which does capture a really wide view as well. Even though it's not as wide as the Akara, it's definitely a lot wider than the 360 uh, AI camera's 100 degrees viewing angle. And looking at the 360 AI camera, you can see how much contrast this uh, camera has in this shot as well. The curtains here are really black and comparing that with the Mija 360 60 camera, you'll see the difference in color accuracy. Going on to the Xiaofang camera, its 110 degrees wide angle lens is also quite large and colors are still quite accurate, so it's not really a bad choice. Comparing that with the Changmi, you can see that definitely performs a little less good. It's quite grainy again and its colors are not that good. The 1080p Mija camera looks a little bit wider, but again in this example it is a little bit more yellow and orange. It's got a 130 degrees wide angle lens and even though the Xiaofang has a 110, it does appear to have the same width. And then finally we've got the Yi camera, which again is not the most vibrant in terms of its colors, and especially not when we compare that to the 360 camera that also shoots 720p, which has really nice colors again. So for these day shots, I would say that the Dafang gives you the best image quality. The Xiaofang also has a really decent image, and on the third spot I would put the Akara, not the best colors, but that super, super wide view can be really welcome. Now looking at some of the night shots of these cameras, all shot in total darkness. And I'm starting off with the Yi cam. It's not all that bad, but let's focus on some areas of these shots, like the inside of the hanging lamps, which are totally black in this shot. And remember the details on the plate that's hanging over this chair. So comparing this shot with the Mija 1080p camera, you can see a bit less detail in the plate, but you can see some more of the inside of the lamps. The night shots of the Xiaofang is quite similar to the Mija, but its vignette is really really quite obvious and it's half the frame rate of the Mija coming in at 10 frames per second. It does show a bit more texture on the plate, but it's got a pretty hard gradient, so I think that's quite distracting. 
The Shuang Mi that performed pretty poor on most of the other shots actually does look pretty good at night. Even though this image is scaled up 150% as it shoots only 720p, you can see a lot more texture in the plate and even on the chair itself. Its levels seem a little bit more balanced in the night shots, but again, this one is only recording half the frame rate of the Xiaofang, recording only 5 frames per second. Next is the 720p Media 360 camera. This one is also not too bad at night, having quite some detail in the plate and good level balance. It does only shoot 5 frames per second as well. Media's 360 AI camera does shoot at 15 frames per second, but its image quality is really poor. It looks blurry and washed out, not showing any details in the plate at all, and again it's got an awful lot of contrast. If I compare that with the Shuang Mi, it's not even fair. And again at night the 720p 360 camera outperforms this one as well. Next is the Dafang, and at night it is really bright. Matter of fact, it even seems a bit overexposed. Overall, it's not a really bad image, and it does show you quite some detail. The Akara definitely has less detail, but I think that is because things tend to look a little bit further away from the camera. Its levels seem to be good, not too hard in contrast, not too dark, but it is a little bit more grainy. But again, this extremely wide view could be a really nice benefit to have. I would say that for the night shots, the Shuang Mi really wins in terms of detail, but keep in mind that at a very low frame rate at night, and not really well shooting during the day, it's not the best option probably. The second place would go to the 720p Media 360 camera and the third place would probably go to the Akara but that is really again because of that super wide angle view which I think could be really helpful. So now let's quickly listen to their audio and see which ones perform best, starting with the internal speaker of all of these. Microphone check. This is the Yi camera. Microphone check. Microphone check. Microphone check. This is the media security camera. Microphone check. Microphone check. This is the uh, Imi Labs small round camera. Microphone check. Microphone check. This is the square camera. Microphone check. Microphone check. Microphone check. This is the 360 camera. Microphone check. Microphone check. This is a, a so-called voice call on the more expensive 360 camera. Microphone check. Microphone check. This is the Da Fang 360 camera. Microphone check. Microphone check. Starting with the Akara camera. Microphone check. So I find that the Akara by far has got the best sounding speaker. In my test this was the only one that did not overly audibly distort the audio. I would probably give the second place to the Media 1080p and the third place to the Yi camera. Now let's listen to the audio captured with the internal microphone of all of these cameras with the Yi camera. This right here is the Media camera. So that's that uh, small square camera. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, so this should be the Imi Labs camera. So that should be the cheaper 360 camera. Okay. So this should be the more expensive 360 camera. This is the 360 Dafang camera. So this should be an audio check of the Akar camera. Judging by air, I would put the 360 AI camera on number one and the Akara on number two. So this was a very extended review of all of the Xiaomi cameras. I hope this helps making your decision a little bit easier in case you were in doubt which one to pick. I've put some links down in the description in case you want to buy any of these cameras and I've put down a link to the full comparison video where we're looking at all of these cameras in a lot more different details. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.